Dear student, after four days, our terrazzo pavement became very strong, hard and dry. Okay, remember that within that period, this pavement should be properly cured with our water. Okay, so the next step is the smoothing process of a hard terrazzo. This is starting from the first grinding. Okay, we all have to use this grinder machine, which is equipped with those diamond disc. Okay, so for the first grinding, we may use the diamond disc, or we may use the carborundum stone of coarse grain. Okay, within this practice, we are going to use the diamond disc. But one of the instructions of using this terrazzo grinder machine. We have to make sure that if this machine is just properly connected with a water tap by the means of this water pipe, Okay, so when the machine is used, is using with connection of water, this will prevent any fragment which may happen because when we are grinding, some fragment will jump out. And also, make sure that a machine is properly connected to electrical people which is not damaged okay then we may start the grinding when we are going to grind our surface the machine must be held in this position
the grinding process is just finished, we have to remove those, this grinding mat. We have to use a switch, a switch to remove the grinding mat. When you just finish to remove the grinding mat, we have to observe our pavement if it presents some pinholes. Okay, use our eyes, then we observe the pavement if it presents some pinholes. Okay, so now, our pavement doesn't present any pin holes. If there are any, we have to use a cement slab. This is a fluid of cement. Then we cover all the pavement with this, with this fluid of cement or cement slab in order to, to pin or to cover those pin holes. But for this case, the pinholes are not there. That is why it is not necessary to use that cement slab. Okay? So the next step is to polish our pavement. What are the materials that you are going to use? So here we have this grinder held the machine. That will be equipped with this disc. You observe that this is a rubber, it is a rubber disc. During the pushing, we have to use this rubber, rubber disc. So here we have this water bed solvent, which is uh, normally called wax polish or liquid wax. It is just used to polish our surface in order to make more excellent shiny. So now let's put this uh, wax polish over our pavement. Then we start the portion.
So once our pavement is just finished to be purished, the next step is to remove the loose material caused by the portion. I have to use a weighty cross, okay? Then we remove those loose material. In order to provide shining area. Dear student, this is the final product that you want to produce. You see that this kind of a pavement or a terrace of pavement, it is a, a kind of pavement which is very strong and durable and good wearing. It means it is just as we have introduced before. This pavement it is just used for building construction, residential building construction, commercial, and area, but. It is very specific where we have the high traffic, traffic, or uh, the foot traffic. That is why you can use this pavement in the airport. Okay? So, I thank you very much for all your kind attention. See you next time.